so we are doing this live session for obvious reasons um, neat pg examination date has been announced it is on 12th of march and uh, as expected uh, a large number of students are uh, feeling quite panicked uh, so we thought that let's let's have a quick session and let's let's talk about uh, this current this this development so uh, first of all uh, why this state of panic uh, i have i have received a large number of messages and you know people are saying the same thing that uh, they were expecting that the exam would get postponed uh, and uh, they were not able to prepare as well because they had that hope that exam would get postponed and now that it did not get postponed so so they they don't know what to do and uh, uh, that is what uh, what is making them really nervous people are saying that that i wasted a lot of time and i did not study as well and now it is too late and they are very frustrated and uh, i'm sure many of you who are watching this live or who would, who would watch this video later on uh, might be having the same experience now let me tell you a couple of things uh you are only looking at yourself i mean your your uh, uh the number of people that you know of is probably one or two you you are aware of only yourself or maybe a group of close friends and you're presuming that you are the only one who did not you know use the time properly and who did not study as well and that is why uh, you are feeling lost at this point of time but believe you me entrance examinations are anyway tough and when there is this kind of uncertainty around the entrance examination it makes it even tougher so i have not you know talked to even a single student who could tell me that they were able to study as usual they were able to study keeping the date of march 12 in mind everybody had that they had that doubt in the mind and what i'm trying to say is that it's not only you almost every single student who is preparing for this examination was not studying up to the mark for the simple reason that there was this uncertainty all of us are humans see for teachers like us it is very easy to say that you know do not listen to the gossip do not give any mental space to what uh, uh, people are saying do not give any mental space to even this thought that exams might get postponed it's very easier easy thing to say but it's a very difficult thing to do as a student and you know you want to be certain you want to know what when you have to prepare for, when you have to give the exam you want to you know prepare accordingly and when that an element of uncertainty creeps in it is impossible to you know be at your best so by saying all this what i'm trying to say is what i'm trying to you know uh, uh, the message that i want to put across is that you are not alone almost every student was struggling and uh, if you are feeling that you are the only one who did not uh, use this time properly you are mistaken this is true for everybody so uh, i'll i'll add another thing uh, to this this point uh, last year i mean the last neat examination when the results were announced uh, i was you know doing interview of many rankers as as we do uh, every year and i asked almost everybody this question that there were so many uncertainties uh, uncertainties last year the examinations got postponed they were announced and then they were you know postponed and it happened a couple of times uh, were you able to study throughout and guys even students who got you know single digit rank in aims or neat even they told me that sir it was not possible when the exams got postponed i did not study at all for a month i did not study at all for two months almost everybody said that so even people who end up getting single digit ranks in uh, these tough exams like aims and you know ini ct and neat even they have found it difficult to be consistent because of all these postponements so Uh, i mean hoping that you would be able to do, do it uh, it is you know uh, i mean it, it's uh, a bit unfair you are being unfair to yourself so everybody had that problem everybody is facing that problem and there is no point feeling guilty do not do not you know keep on you know telling yourself that you are such a loser you you did such a horrible mistake you did such a horrendous mistake do not say those things they are not going to help you and this is i mean everybody is in the same boat so this was the first point that i wanted to discuss that uh, you are not alone everybody is having the same issue now let's talk about uh, this uh, whole thing of postponement say the exams got postponed by a month or say they got postponed by two months would that make any difference uh, had had that made any difference say say instead of having 55 days or 56 days say you had 90 days would that make a lot of difference in the final rank that you would get the answer is a plain big no Two months time and three months time is almost exactly the same. If if you were given three months, you would end up reading exactly the same thing or the same amount that you would do now if if you really want to. 
there's a lot of difference between two months and 10 months or nine months or eight months. Uh, you can you know plan your preparation if you got eight months or 10 months, but two months and three or four months are exactly the same. The time is too less for you to cover everything. And the, the time is still sufficient if you really want to give it a good shot. If, you, if you're really serious about it, if you really want to get a good rank, it is still good enough time. So again, what I'm trying to say is the postponement or, or non-postponement does not really matter. Uh, 55 days are more than enough. Now coming to the second part, uh, many people are messaging me that sir, it is already too late. Uh, uh, I don't think I can do it this year. Uh, I'll try next year. Now guys, please don't fall into that trap, right? This, this next year trap uh, is something to be avoided like a plague. And have you ever thought the psychology behind this thing? Uh, 55 days away from the examination, why is your mind telling you that it would not be, that uh, you would not be able to do it this time? Why is your mind telling you to you know, postpone the preparation or prepare for the next examination because it is too late? Think about, think about it. The reason is very simple. And this, this happens to everybody. It happened to me when I was preparing, preparing for NEET examination. The reason is simple. If today you tell yourself that, okay, the exams are going to be held on 12th of March. I have 55 days left and I should start studying. If you commit to this exam, what will happen? Immediately the pressure will increase. You will you will feel uneasy. You will feel anxious. You will have the thought that Kaise hoga? How, how to finish the course. And our minds do not like being anxious. We, we try to you know dodge the anxiety. We try to avoid anxiety at all costs. So, when your mind tells you that you will not do will prepare the next year. Basically what you are trying to do is you are trying to uh, stay away from anxiety or you are trying to dodge anxiety in the shorter term. You want to feel better. You want to you know, get that pressure off your back. And that is why your mind is telling you that you don't have to do this time. Rationalization you know, playing its part. But guys, uh, it will always remain tough. Whether you prepare this year, whether you prepare next year, it, will, it is always going to be tough. Uh, you have to take a plunge, no matter whether you take it this year or the next year. In fact, if you keep on postponing it, it keeps on becoming more and more difficult. People think that, you know, uh, if I give you know, 10 months, uh, if I give a proper 10 months, if I do a proper 10 months preparation, things would become better. But, you know, doing preparation with the same intensity for 10 months is very difficult. Uh, preparing for entrance examination is always tough and you know you you find it difficult to you know carry that consistency for a long period of time the good thing about short periods of time is you know you can you can simply uh, you know reach to your best you you, you simply you know uh, press the gas pedal you put your foot on the accelerator you start studying really hard and because you have to just push yourself for 60 days or 50 days it is still doable so what i'm trying to tell you is uh, consistent very hard preparation, putting extreme amount of hard work, putting long hours, that is possible only for short spurts of time. And by that short spurts of time, I am talking about in you know, a time period like two months or one and a half months or two and a half months, not more than that. And as things are, you still have got almost two months left or 55 days left. So this this is a good enough time if, if you are ready to you know put your best foot forward, if you are ready to work really hard. So. Uh, this the second part of conversation was all about you know avoiding the trap of next examination do not try to avoid anxiety in the shorter term it will not help you much and finally you will have to prepare whether this year or ne next year probably your chances are better this year in comparison to the next year coming to the third part is it still doable uh, say if you are a student uh, who did not study as well who did not prepare as well uh, this year and the question of course that, that pops up in the mind that is it still doable uh, the answer is yes, it is very much doable. The reason is that medical entrance examination by the very nature of uh, it, they are always uh, you know, quite, quite, uh, they, they always test the facts more than anything else. Even with the newer pattern and with the newer questions which are becoming more and more conceptual, medical examinations would always be fact based to a certain extent. And when any examination is fact based, you know, how much you can, you know, ratify, how much you can memorize and vomit out on the day of the examination would always matter. Our, our short term memory, our memory for weeks or, you know, months uh, is only so much. You can only put so many, so many things in that. And after that, the slippage starts to happen. And this is a common thing. You must have experienced it yourself. Uh, you, you study something and one month later, two months later, when you, you know, get back to the 
uh, tape, when you get back uh, to the revision or when you start revising, you realize that you have forgotten many things. And, and this is the nature of uh, our memory. You can only put so many facts in, into it. So uh, the good thing is you have got only 55 days. Uh, if you can, you know, just, just you know, memorize as much as possible or tough as much as possible and if you're able to reproduce it on the day of the examination you would still you know uh, you, you would still clear the examination and uh, had you been had you been doing it for the last six months the the problem would happen that you would have forgotten things that you studied in the beginning and in the end you are left with the same thing that you do not recall anything o of course somebody who has been studying for six months or eight months ha has an edge uh, he or she will take lesser time to cover the topic uh, during the revision but Still, I mean, that said, even if you're studying today and if you even uh, if today you start, you know, studying for say, 10 hours, 12 hours, 13 hours a day, you would be able to cover a, a good chunk of the course. And because you would be still fresh with, the, with all that, you know, learning, you might be able to reproduce it better in the, uh, you might be able to recall it better in the examination. So it is very much possible. But, you know, it is, it would require a special effort. It is, it is not that easy. I mean, possible, of course, easy, not really. Whether you would be able to put, you know, extreme efforts, whether you would be able to do something that you have never done, whether you will be able to, you know, outdo yourself, uh, that will determine whether you get selected or not. If you want to get selected in an entrance examination in, in less than two months of period, that would require, a, you know, a big effort from you. And by a big effort, I, I mean to say at least 12 hours a day uh, for at least nine out of 10 days. So you have, you are left with like 55 days. Uh, you can take at max four or five days off in these 55 days and for the rest of the days you have to study. If, if in these last 55 days, the only thing, the only preoccupation that you have is that examination. If you think about nothing else but that examination. If you know when you get up in the morning, you think about that examination. While having lunch, you think about that examination. While sipping tea, if you think about that examination. If that is the thing that is there in your mind all the time, then again, uh, you are one. You are you are one of the persons who would get selected in this examination. The question is, can you do it? it it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. You'll you'll have to keep yourself motivated. You'll have to keep yourself, you know, isolated, separated from people, from the naysayers. Some of your friends would not like it. Some of your friends, when they get to know that you have started studying, they would not like it. They would tell you that ki nahi ho paega, itna asan nahi hai. You know, people keep on saying things like this to you know, discourage each other. Unfortunately, these things happen. But you have to shut shut down all those voices. You have to believe in yourself. You have to remember that it can be done, and you have to remember yourself. Uh, certain periods when when you have put this this extreme effort uh, try try remembering the night before the surgery exam or the medicine exam when you were in the final professional or try remembering all all the prof professional examination the night before the examination or the day before the examination the kind of hard work that you were able to put in that is your capability right uh, we we rarely use even 50 percent of that capacity that we have and we you know we we uh, use all that capacities on on certain days which is usually just before the examination but what i'm trying to tell you is that you have that capability you have that reserve it's all about using it normally people don't use it we, we usually function at 40 percent or 50 percent of, of our capabilities but if in this last 55 days you can use more of that if in this last 55 days you can you know uh, take it take your game a couple of notches higher anything can happen uh, when we talk about the strategies, uh, see strategies are uh, for periods, uh, uh, I mean for longer periods, like if you, if you had six months or eight months, we could have talked about strategies. Uh, here, the only strategy that would work is, you know, passion, rather than strategy, passion works here. Uh, when, when you, you know, just commit to it, when you say that no matter what happens, I would study like crazy for the next 55 days. No matter what happens, I would, you know, do as much as possible. No matter what happens, I would ensure that once this 55 period days is over and when, when I look back at my preparation, I'm able to smile. I'm able to tell myself that irrespective of the results, those 55 days were, you know, worth living. Those 55 days were, you know, uh, uh, worth preparing. I, I was able to do something really nice in those 55 days. If you can ensure these things, uh, that would that would get you past the point. So pick, pick any, any material. If you are using rapid revision of prep letter, please use that. It's a very wonderful source uh, for if you have limited period or if you have any other sources, similar sources, pick that. And uh, don't think about anything else. Just, just focus on that source. 
focus on the last year examination uh, last last year examination questions and just just keep on mugging don't don't think how much you would you be able to cover and how much would get left it is obvious that not you, you cannot cover everything even if you were studying for the entire year even then you would not have covered everything so just mug mug more mug more keep on mugging and uh, what what you will see is you know as you continue studying you feel like studying more this is this is what happens with studies now they work on this positive reinforcement cycle when you study very hard on one day uh, on a particular day by the time you go to the bed you really feel good i mean all the dopamine that gets released uh, all the dopamine that gets released because you feel satisfied because you feel that you have done something worthy you know that that feeling of pleasure that feeling of happiness that drives you to do it again the next day and and if you can do it uh, regularly you know you, you actually start enjoying it so uh, please remember that uh, if you study hard and if you do get selected that would be one hell of a story uh, just just imagine next year uh, you know getting selected uh, starting the session i mean the coming year and you know telling people that you know uh, i was not even sure about the examination i had given up and you know the, suddenly the exam date got announced and you know i was not sure about it i thought it's it's too late i thought to myself that only 55 days are left it's it's almost impossible but then i decided that no matter what i'll study and i studied like never before i studied so hard that i surprised even myself and i got selected that's that's a beautiful story but but if you want to own that story you'll have to produce a beautiful effort that effort would be worthy that effort would be worthwhile that effort would stay with you for the rest of your life some of you know that you know uh, i had released a video last or last to last year uh, where i talked about my own journey i i prepared for neat examination uh not need examination delhi examination uh, and i got only 40 days i i had come back from us later la- late during the year and i got only 40 days to prepare but i did it i was i got selected and you know even till now after 12 13 years uh even today whenever i feel low or whenever i feel that this thing cannot be done i remind myself of that time i remind myself that if if i could uh, get selected in a tough examination in just 40 days i can do anything and you know, this is this is the thing about about these efforts Uh, if you are able to achieve something beautiful or something great that stays with you for the rest of your life that that becomes that in, internal source of motivation you stop looking outside for motivation you just look inside because you had done it that, you had done that uh, done it in the past and you tell yourself that i can do it in the future and this is applicable to you too uh, you may not have cleared an entrance examination in 40 days but you have cleared professional examinations you have cleared the medicine examination or surgery examination uh, with with studies of few days or few weeks so if you can bring that that you know a uh, part of yourself into play at this point of time there is no reason why you can't end up with a wonderful result so guys i'll i'll uh, end the session with with a simple uh, uh, thought i leave you with this thought uh, in the next 55 days you have two options the first option is that uh, you do not study you would remain frustrated you would remain you would you would you know keep on feeling that you are not doing something right or you are doing something wrong that that thought will keep on disturbing you and uh, 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 these 55 days would pass and then you will probably start studying the next year that is one possibility uh, it would not be a nice thing uh, you would not be happy you would be dissatisfied uh, you would see some of your students studying and you would feel that you know they are doing it you are not doing it you would try to you know cut off yourself from others but it would not be a good state to be in so either you can go into that state or you can tell yourself that irrespective of the time irrespective of the results let me give my best foot let me put my best foot forward and let let me give my best shot to this exam if you do that in the next 55 days you would be engaged you would be doing something worthwhile you would be you know having a meaning in your life and if you could can do it properly you might also get selected so the choice of choice choice is yours this this whole frustrated and angry person you want to become for the next 55 days or somebody who's focused on the goal somebody who's ready to put efforts and somebody who you know at least respects himself or herself for trying hard so i i leave you with this thought i i believe the choice is very clear it is still doable it can be done there is no question about it the only question is are you up to the challenge can you can you accept this challenge can you ensure that in the next 55 days you do something that you have never done before and if you can do it believe you me nobody can stop you from getting selected thank you best wishes keep studying keep working hard it's all worthwhile